I'm Maya the Science. Today I get my own pet butterflies. I am super excited because I was waiting for these two days ago and I just couldn't resist it. Now that I get them, it is so exciting. Today I'm showing you my new pet caterpillars. It's been a couple days that I've had my caterpillars and they are so much more active than when I got them. There is a little webbing and it's good, not bad, because in nature or in their natural habitat that might be outside, there is a leaf. They're crawling on the leaf and eating a hole through it. There's wind. The wind might blow them away. But if they have this webbing, the wind won't blow them away. That's why they have it. They, that one looks most active right now. It's eating probably, most likely. It looks like it. And in a couple days, they will turn into butterflies. It's really fun to watch them. Let's take a look at my caterpillars and see what they're doing right now. If you can see, they have grown a lot. And they're all eating right now. They're eating that stuff. And I think that's like a pellet for herbivores or something. It is day six and um, our caterpillars are way more active than they used to be. I've noticed that the little pellets have a greater amount than yesterday, so I'm thinking that's for poop. And they are always, almost always on the ceiling. And I think that's because they're about to go into a chrysalis. All the webbing is gone because they knocked it over. And they are huge. I believe it's day eight for our caterpillars. And they have all turned into cocoons. Well, three of them have turned into cocoons. One of them is on the ground. But all you have to do is pick up a light plastic spoon and then take it out and put it into the butterfly exhibit in a nice soft area. And we put the soft area right next to the wall of it. The cocoons are in the shape of a banana. That's what they look like to me. And the caterpillars are stuck to the ceiling. They look like a J from this angle. But you're at a different angle. Now I have to transfer the caterpillar and cocoons to the butterfly habitat. And I'm going to do that by slowly and carefully taking off the lid and putting it into this holder and transferring this holder slowly and carefully right to the edge of the butterfly, right to the edge of the butterfly habitat, right here. So they can still start grabbing, as soon as they come out, they start grabbing onto the wall and they learn how to fly. And I also have to feed my butterflies um, by making, by making nectar and putting it in this thing that looks like a flower so it attracts them. And also by like maybe a piece of fruit and they will take the nectar from that and the sugar from that. So all they really need is the sugar. just transferred the cocoons, but two of them fell. We don't need to give them food yet until about a week, and then when they emerge from their chrysalis and become butterflies, then we need to make the food and put it on the butterfly feeder and put it inside their habitat so they can eat.
go now? Yes, what happened? And my butterfly came out. See? Look. Hmm. When the butterflies emerge from the chrysalis, they will expel a red liquid called mixer. Don't worry, this is completely natural. Mixinum is the leftover parts of the caterpillar that were not needed to make the butterfly. This is stored in the intestine of the butterfly and is expelled after the butterfly emerges. After they hatched, one of them died, and we gave them some fruit to eat because they weren't liking the nectar. And now we're going to release them. Okay. We're scavenging for flowers, and we can see lots of flowers, but most of them are near people's houses, and they planted them. And if they weren't there, they would be great flowers to let our butterflies out next to. I decided to do them by roses because there are more flowers and they have, they're like, they're not smaller flowers, they're big flowers. Oh, so close to coming out. Yay! Where did it go? Hey, it went some way away. It went all the way away. I think that one might be the first one to leave. I mean, the second one to leave. Oh, oh yes! Hey, it flew away! It's on a branch. Cool. Come on, buddy, let's go. The last two won't come and get out, so we move them. Maybe it's a better spot here. It's going to come out. Oh, I get so close. It came out. Yeah. The last one didn't come out, so we're just gonna leave it here with the door open and let it do what it needs to do, and eventually it'll walk out. That's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time on a Mile of the Science Kid video. Yay.